Now that November is upon us, we need to prepare for 1099s. And this is a good time to start. What we want to do is evaluate all our 1099 vendors and see if we have tax IDs for them. So what we're going to do is we're going to open up SmartList and we're going to then open up the purchasing series and then we're going to open up the vendor objects. Now there is a default one that comes with your system out of the box for 1099 vendors and it just shows your vendor ID, vendor name and 1099 miscellaneous type and you'll notice in the search filter it says it's not equal to not a 1099 so you're seeing just all of your vendors um, that are 1099 vendors. So you can see I have a total of 16 and if I open up the Word um, button at the top, I have the option to prepare a vendor letter. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. This is using the Microsoft Word Vendor Letter Wizard. And here are my default letters, and I could add some customized letters if I want, but I'm going to choose to request 1099s. I'll click on Next. Here they all are listed, and I could unselect them as I choose. Once you populate um, your custom name information the first time, it'll stay out there and I'll choose to finish and it's going to open up uh, Microsoft Word and prepare all the letters for me and here you can see I have a total of 16 pages and you can see my letters please enclose find a W-9 form now this is a way to prompt me to get that tax information from my vendor um, I probably have some tax information for at least some of these vendors if not all of them so let's exclude those from our list before we send out this Word document. Uh, what I'm going to do is go to columns at the top and I'm going to choose to add the tax ID number and so we'll add that to our list and now you can see I'm looking at all my miscellaneous and I can see four, I already have the tax ID for four so I want to exclude those so I'm going to click on my search object and click on my next search criteria. I see all the columns that exist already. I'm going to choose uh, tax ID number and I'm just going to leave the is equal to and the value blank. And now I'm seeing I have 12 vendors that are 1099 vendors that I do not have tax information in for. So now I'm going to go ahead and do my vendor letter uh, wizard for those and I'll request the W9 and go ahead and print that up. Now all I have to do is print these letters, put a W-9 with them, and drop them in the mail or fax them to the customer whichever way I want to do. You can see the letter. I now have 12. It's a good time to start planning for those 1099s and this is a great way to do it to make sure that all your 1099 vendors do indeed have a tax ID. Hope this helps.